When we destroy something created by man, it's called vandalism. When we destroy something by nature, it's called progress. Once destroyed, nature's beauty cannot be repurchased at any price. Ansel Adams My name is Davida Sal, a child of this earth. I'm a filmmaker, artivist, and traveler who left the U.S. in 2021 in search for more freedom. I settled in Tulum, Mexico, hoping for an eco-friendly destination. But what I discovered was far from the truth. Witnessing the destruction of Mother Nature, I decided to expose it to the world through my art. On Earth Day, April 24th, 2022, 15 concerned activists from around the world residing in Tulum gathered to stand for Gaia. was to shed light on the catastrophe and devastation unfolding in Tulum, a reality still unfamiliar to many. The picturesque town known for its eco-chic hotels, yoga retreats, Mayan ruins, lush jungles, and turquoise ocean has transformed into a new bohemian hotspot. Albeit a devastating cost to the environment, each passing day witnesses the construction of new buildings, contributing to the destruction of protected areas. What begins as a small-scale construction gradually evolves into extensive projects creeping further into the jungle. The primary issue is corruption. Mexico has all the necessary laws and regulations to protect the environment. Yet, a corrupt government enables unchecked development. Tulum faces challenges such as inadequate waste management and a lack of drainage system. Until recently, garbage was dumped in the jungle, forming what locals call open-air landfills, just nine kilometers outside Tulum. This signifies an ecological Armageddon and possess a significant sanitary crisis. The evidence of Tulum's inability to handle the surge in mass tourism is widespread. Transforming Tulum into a sustainable tourism destination is a formidable task, requiring the implementation of rules to prevent it from becoming another mass tourism destination like Playa del Carmen and Cancun. Unfortunately, only a minority in Tulum showed genuine interest in environmental issues 
as most visitors are focused on capturing the glamorous selfies while partying on the beach. The ugly side of Tulum, stinky, sad, and heartbreaking, is often overlooked as it doesn't align with Instagram aesthetics. Most Mayan people already have to worry about basic livelihood concerns. However, a growing number of local activists are dedicated to raising awareness and denouncing environmental violations through art and peaceful actions. We care, do you? The falling bodies depicted symbolize the cut down trees in the jungle. A daily witness to a massacre reminiscent of historical injustices perpetrated by colonizers against Native Americans and Africans. is now repeating in Tulum, where foreign corporations and profit-driven entities are contributing to the irreversible destruction of its jungles. The relentless chopping down of trees and destruction of natural habitats through the construction of concrete structures falsely marketed as eco-villages are turning this one tiny village into an ecological nightmare. <laughs> In a society that thrives, elders plant trees under whose shade they may never sit. Ironically, many developers promote themselves as eco-friendly, capitalizing on Tulum's laid-back bohemian and green image. Meanwhile, the unchecked constructions of hotels, restaurants, and beach clubs is wreaking havoc on the environment. Our fight will not cease. What happened to Tulum has occurred many times before, but we can still make a difference.
It features fast uses our unique talents to raise awareness and motivate others, we may reverse the damage. At least, that's what I decide to do on my own. One image is worth a thousand words. Much love, light, and unity.